Welcome to Moonshot Radio with your host, Dr. Nivia Torres. Greetings and welcome to Moonshot Radio, where every moment is an opportunity to learn. I'm your host, Nivia Torres, Executive Director of the Kindergarten Readiness Collaborative, also known as KRC. Our vision is that all children in Indian River County will be ready for kindergarten. We proudly partner with the Moonshot Moment, who is transforming the next generation in Indian River County by having 90% of all students reading on grade level by the third grade. With me today in the studio, we have a very special guest, Cressman Bronson. Cressman is the executive vice president and president of Southeast Florida for PNC Bank. Cressman, did I get that right? You did. Nailed it. Oh, Good job. wonderful. <laughs> wonderful. I practiced before the show. <laughs> Good afternoon. Thanks for having us. Thank you for being here, Cressman. I am so excited to have you, first of all, because PNC is such a great partner to us and to other nonprofits in Vero Beach, but more importantly, because you are celebrating a 15th anniversary of Grow Up Great. Yeah, very excited about that. It's really exciting for us as well. So share a little bit with our viewers and our listeners about Grow Up Great. Sure. Uh, well, Grow Up Great is a, uh, it's a program that we've had now for, for 15 years, and it's a $500 million initiative um, mm -hmm. that we started back in 2004. And it's for early childhood development. Uh, it's primarily for underprivileged children between the ages of zero to five. Um, it's to give them the opportunity, the resources to get prepared for school. Now, we know that a prepared child going into kindergarten will do better. They'll graduate on time. Uh, they'll they'll uh, go to higher learning. Uh, they'll have a good career and they'll have an overall you know good life. Uh, we know that children that are not prepared uh, will struggle. Uh, they won't graduate on time. Uh, they won't go to higher ed, and there'll be you know challenges throughout their entire life. So at the very heart of our program, uh, when it was initially started, it was to get you know, partner up uh, with uh, individual organizations that will help pave the way, prepare the children to get into kindergarten, ready to go, ready to learn, and to be um, a contributor to the community. And certainly, Grow Up Great is such a signature, a philanthropic initiative for PNC Bank. Yeah. So I want to ask you a little bit about the start, the origin of Grow Up Great. I sure. know you said it started in 2004, but I'm sure it required a lot of discussion for people to come together and start this very wise investment. Yeah, it's kind of an exciting story. I mean, PNC's foundation was established in 1969, mm -hmm. and every year it's been uh, contributing you know, to good causes, to good organizations throughout our, our footprint. And in 2004, we wanted to have a, a groundbreaking, kind of an impactful uh, mission, if you will, uh, that impacted uh, in a favorable way low and moderate income communities that we did business uh, in. So in 2004, our CEO at the time took a survey of our, uh, at the time we had 24,000 employees, did a survey and said, hey, how should we be spending our philanthropic uh, dollars? And the uh, preponderance of the respondents were saying, child care, early education, you know, something along those lines as a topic. So. And that time we reached out to some uh, friends at Sesame Street and Fred Rogers and Head Start. And we said, hey, is there a situation or a concern about early learning? And they said, oh, yeah, there is. Um, they gave us 50 years of research uh, that, that showed us that there's really a, a need there. So at that moment, we were, we were fully engaged. Uh, we started the program. It was a 10-year initiative at the time and $100 million. So you can see how it's grown um, over the years. Um, and then um, ever since then, it was really the power of one company getting behind a single initiative, how many lives, how many children's lives we can positively impact. Wow, that's so impressive, Cressman, and, and such a big investment and a commitment, and the fact that you really took the time to look at all of that research. Yeah. And I also like the fact that you mentioned that you really surveyed the people who work with you, who collaborate with you to right. say, where should we in, be investing these dollars? I think people really have a sense of ownership when they're asked about that, right? Right. Yeah. And I think when you look at, um, you know, what we've accomplished uh, 
over those 15 years. Uh, the, the employee in, involvement in the volunteerism is a, is a big component of that. So in the last 15, um, or to celebrate the, the 15th year anniversary, um, we're even more committed, and we committed another $150 million, which got it from $350 million to the now $500 million. Um, in addition to that, we give each of our regions, you know, like the, I'm the regional president for Southeast Florida, there's multiple regions throughout the country. Each region, uh, we gave $150,000 to connect with local organizations uh, that had, uh, you know, community-based literacy programs uh, to help help out there. Um, in addition to um, the volunteerism that you mentioned, um, we give grants. Mm. Um, it's referenced as uh, grants for great hours. So a team can uh, volunteer 100 hours to a, a particular organization. And normally it'd be a $3,000 grant. Well, this year of celebration of our 15th year, uh, we're doubling that. So it's a $6,000 uh, check that that organization uh, will get. And then we also have a partnership and alliance with Donors Choose. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, two years ago, we gave $5 million to fund those uh, those program requests from pre-K Head Start uh, and, and teachers. And uh, we've committed a, another $5 million for the next two years uh, for, for that organization. So it's, it, it's, a, it's, it's a great celebration, uh, the 15th year. Uh, we're trying to heighten awareness and, and get the word out, and uh, we couldn't be more proud. I just, I think I'm going to ask you to repeat once again, because this is a signature milestone right now that PNC Bank has reached. And I think it's important for our viewers and listeners to really process this. Mm -hmm. I had to process it myself. 350, and now you're adding 150 million more. That's right. Correct? That's correct. So think about that. So from 2004, initially, the, I think wow. the initial request was rumored to be 50 million, and mm -hmm. our CEO said, no, we need to do more. So at the time in 2004, it got increased to 100 million, and then to 350 million, now to 500 million. That is huge, Cressman. And I wanted folks to really listen to that and process that because it's a huge milestone, particularly for those of us who are really invested. We're doing the groundwork every day in the early childhood sector because yeah. of people like you and PNC Bank, we're able to do the work that we do. So thank you. It's, oh. it's just, it's really impressive. I do have to tell you, I did not know about that until this show. And mm. it just, I have to process that myself because that's a lot of money. Yeah. That's a lot of money. It's wonderful, wonderful to work for an organization that's so committed to a, a great necessary cause. Clearly, clearly. Now, Cressman, I know that you have also, because this is a wise investment and a huge investment, you've yeah. also done the tally in terms of what are the results in those past 15 years? What are yeah. some of the accolades, the accomplishments? Yeah, the, the numbers are somewhat amazing uh, we've with our um, support with with grants and materials and resources we've helped over five million children in those in those 15 years uh, wow. get exposed to the you know benefits of uh, early learning our employees we talked about the volunteerism these uh, these missions don't work without the volunteerism of, of employees or the community mm -hmm. uh, we've have over uh, 68,000 employees uh, log in over 850,000 volunteer hours um, and it's uh, truly remarkable. The Donors Choose Alliance that we've had, um, we've helped out more than 630,000 pre-K Head Start children uh, in, that, in that short uh, two-year time period. So simply put, we're, we're helping out in the ways that we can in our partnerships and our collaboration with the volunteers and the organizations that are trying to get early learning on everybody's radar. Truly transformative work when you can say as an organization that you've reached, that you've impacted 5 million children. Think about that. that that's just mm -hmm. huge. And when we think about the 30 million word gap and the fact that through these programs we're reaching more children, yeah. that that's really impressive. I do want to point out for our viewers that there are some resources here from PNC Bank, and those mm -hmm. are the kinds of things that you really invest in, some quality resources that both teachers and children and parents can use. So yeah. thank you for bringing that to oh, me. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah, they're great materials. And, you know, they're, they're not all bank stuff. You know, we're not, <laughs> we're not promoting a, a mortgage loan or anything like that. It's, it's really gravitated to get the attention of the, the teachers and the children and everybody who's uh, taking care of those kids. It's very eye-catching, and I know that you mentioned the partnership with Sesame Street before. I'm sort of... 
I'm partial to Sesame Street because it's something that I grew up watching. Oh, sure. 50 and year anniversary. Of right? course. I'm 50 years old this year, so we Sesame Street and I is something that we uh, go hand in hand on. Well, <laughs> I won't disclose my age <laughs> no, no. here, <laughs> but I, all I can say is that I grew up watching Sesame Street and drinking the milk and eating the cookies. Yeah, right. <laughs> Cressman, let's talk a little bit about your partners, partners sure. at PNC. Bank. Yeah, I think you know we touched on it a little bit. It really starts at the top of the house, you know, with our corporate executives um, getting behind us uh, is truly impressive. You know, hardly you ever see a single large organization like PNC mm -hmm. get behind a single mission, mm -hmm. and it's exactly what we've done. It's part of our our culture, um, and then it's uh, our employees. You know, I mentioned that. Uh, so our our company has um, allows for each of our employees to volunteer forty hours a year to grow up great organizations. Um, and the, you know, the volunteerism, uh, the, it can be you know, the in-classroom traditional uh, volunteering, it can be putting together uh, puppet kits for Daniel Tiger, mm -hmm. uh, painting a classroom. Uh, so really, you know, it, all kinds of elements uh, for every uh, employee. Um, and then the, you know, the Sesame Street Fred Rogers Head Start um, partnership, you know, that started early on and, and that uh, relationship has expanded, you know, with, uh, with Sesame Street, we have a, a new growth chart. Uh, we have the, uh, the family activity book. And with Fred Rogers, uh, we now have the Daniel Tiger. Uh, so we got the, the, the puppets and the, the face mask uh, that the kids decorate during um, those, those uh, activities uh, during the, uh, when the volunteers uh, come, to come together. And, you know, again, just as a, uh, a corporate leader in this group, uh, in our partnerships, it's a, it's a true collaboration of, of executives and volunteerism and employees and the community partners. The volunteerism from your staff, from the people that, you know, collaborate and work with PNC certainly makes a difference. But before we take a break, I just want to say that it also makes a difference in terms of the leadership. And you're so passionate um, in talking about this, Crestman, yeah. and talking about the Grow Up Great initiative, you have to really be passionate about something the way you are yeah. to really be able to yield some results. So thank you. Oh, you're welcome. It's easy to get behind. Yeah, uh, once you get to see the big picture, and, and as a corporate voice, you got to make sure that you're um, consistent in the messaging and, and and rallying the community to get behind it in order to make the mission successful. You're certainly doing that. So we're going to take a break to hear from our sponsors, one of them being PNC Bank, and we will be right back. At the Kindergarten Readiness Collaborative, our vision is for every parent, regardless of income or zip code, to have the knowledge and tools they need to raise healthy children that are prepared for kindergarten. Our mission is to support our partners in developing a high-quality early childhood system that is family-centered. Our outreach and parent engagement specialists connect with families and build trusted relationships. KRC has chosen Felsmere and Gifford as our two focus areas in Indian River County. Our Felsmere office is located downtown in the city annex, and our new Gifford office is located within Victory Park Apartments. Our administrative offices are now located adjacent to Healthy Start and Treasure Coast Community Health in Vero Beach. The Kindergarten Readiness Collaborative, developing a high quality early childhood system for all children in Indian River County. Everyday activities are great for finding moments for talking and teaching new words. Babies' brains grow 80% in the first 18 months of life. As parents and your baby's first teacher, you can help build their brain with language and literacy skills. Involve the whole family. Ask questions. The more words babies hear, the larger their vocabulary can grow. Support early childhood education by talking, reading, singing, and family engagement. This message has been brought to you by PNC Grow Up Great and the Florida Grade Level Reading Campaign. Seventeen people are dead on the tracks. Where is Governor DeSantis? There are no state regulations for trains going faster than 80, and Virgin Trains will go over 100 miles an hour through our towns. No regulations. The Florida Alliance for Safe Trains is asking you to contact local officials and the governor and say, make them safe. Go to our Facebook page, Florida Alliance for Safe Trains, or our website and get more information. Call the governor today. 
It's fun for everyone. It's Audrey's Feed and Tack, a distinctive country and western emporium. Of course, they have high-quality feeds and hay for horse lovers and urban chicken farmers, but there's so much more to Audrey's. Explore for unique gifts you won't find anyplace else. A fun stop for visitors. Enjoy breakfast or lunch at Cafe 66. Locals know it's the best barbecue. And now Audrey's announces their boot and hat room upstairs. Scoot and Boogie over there for the widest selection this side of the big lake. Audrey's Feed and Tack, Oslo and 66th Avenue. Hurry, Joey. I want to get there early to get the best stuff. But we have to go to another garage sale. You do know there's a better way. You can get phenomenal stuff and great deals on almost everything at our Habitat Restore. Hey, isn't that where you got your office desk? Find great stuff at the renovated and expanded Indian River Habitat Restore on US 1, just north of 45th Street. Open Monday through Saturday from 10 a.m. to 6. Donations of gently used stuff is always appreciated. Shop, donate, volunteer. Habitat Restore is a nonprofit. The St. Lucie County School Board Summer Musical presents our 23rd annual summer show, Rogers and Hammerstein's Oklahoma, featuring a cast of 70 and a live orchestra. The show runs June 12th through June 16th with matinee and evening performances available. The shows will be presented at Port St. Lucie High School Auditorium for only $18 a ticket. Tickets are available now at Jay's Fine Jewelry in St. Lucie West, Joyce Ice Cream Plus in Port St. Lucie and Fort Pierce, Perkins US 1 in Port St. Lucie, and Honey Baked Ham. Oklahoma Oklahoma. We're back to Moonshot Radio, where every moment is an opportunity to learn. With me today, our special guest from PNC Bank, Cressman Bronson. Cressman, welcome back. Glad to be here. <laughs> you made a huge announcement right before the break, and we're so excited that you were able to make that announcement here on Moonshot Radio. $500 million investment, huh? Very exciting. So our Grow Great program, it continues to um, grow, and uh, we continue to be uh, very committed to the cause. Thank you so much for doing that, Chris, oh, to you and PNC Bank. Let's talk a little bit now about the research in early childhood education. We know it's so important to interact with little ones early on. Yeah. What sort of research has PNC Bank looked into? Yeah, it's it's interesting because once you're new to the topic, you, you're not really aware of some of the facts that come along with it. But so much of the brain development is in those first few years mm -hmm. of life. In fact, about 80% of the brain is developed in the first two to three years of life, 90% uh, in the first five years of life. So that early interaction, day one of not only reading, uh, but uh, vocalizing interactions, you know, connects all those, uh, those neurons. So every child is born with 100 billion neurons about the same amount of stars are in the Milky Way, right? And probably the most uh, neurons the body's ever going to have, the brain is ever going to have. So making those connections is important because if you don't read or stimulate those, they become dormant and they sit away and they don't connect. Uh, so, you know, with um, the importance of those uh, early cognitive synopsis, it's ever very important to, to continue to, to, to read to the children. Um, we find uh, in the research that uh, children from um, lower and moderate income households, they'll hear an average of 30 million less words in those three years of life. That fact that you referenced earlier is, is really an accurate one. Um, and when they start kindergarten, though typically a child uh, from that uh, environment will be 18 months behind. And you think that when the child starts kindergarten, you're like, okay, things will catch up. That gap will shorten. When reality is the gap widens. Right. And then if it all uh, comes on that third grade reading test. Mm -hmm. And if they don't pass that third grade reading test, they have about a four times more chance of not graduating. And when you don't graduate, uh, it creates a more of a cost to society. Right. So now you have poverty, you have crime, um, all those costs that are associated uh, with that. Uh, and we've also found the research that every dollar that we're investing or any dollar that's invested in early childhood education, turns about a $13 return to the community wow. and to society. Now, Cressman, you've really laid out the pathway from birth to kindergarten to third grade to whether you graduate or not or in high school and whether yeah. you're a productive citizen or not. I mean, you guys have really taken the time to look at all of that research and determine that this is a wise investment. Yeah, it really makes it, uh, when you see the big picture, if you will, um, I know a lot of businesses want to see an, an immediate return on investment. Mm -hmm. And uh, to really get behind an initiative like this, you have to understand the, the big picture and the uh, patience of that investment. And all the statistics that we see, all the research that is shared with us, 
definitely shows that investing in early childhood education makes the difference in enhancing the quality of life of those individuals that are living in our community. I'm so glad you said that, that those are words of wisdom. And I hope our listeners and viewers are really taking note of that because you have a business mind. Correct. Correct. Yeah, right. <laughs> you have a business mind and here you are advocating for early childhood education and you're saying, wait a minute, we need to invest and understand that the return on investment is not immediate. Right. But that ultimately it will yield results that will improve our quality of life in an economy. And just the way you articulated, thank yeah. you so much, because there's some folks who are not um, as receptive to that. Yeah. Yeah, it is, um, you know. A, a, a mission or a passion um, that is uh, something that's easy to get behind, mm. um, takes a lot of uh, awareness, a lot of education, because uh, even even uh, adults you know, are hearing some of these uh, statistics for the first time, but the research is out there. So I encourage everybody to go out and, and, and do the research and see those uh, statistics that are really um, accurate and represent um, the challenge that we have, not only in Indian River County or state of Florida, but in the United States. It's nationwide. Chrisman, talk to us a little bit about the investments that PNC Bank is doing in Vero Beach to support early childhood education. Yeah. Um, so as the chair of the local foundation committee, uh, we have the flexibility to channel those those grant dollars to those organizations here locally that are making the impact. Mm -hmm. uh, so at PNC, uh, with the regional president model, it's by design in order to do that. Mm -hmm. So we can make that, that big impact. And we're partnering up with um, Child Care Resource, uh, the Economic Opportunities Council, um, Early Learning Coalition, the Head Start Program, United Way, and of course, um, you know, Kindergarten Readiness uh, Collaborative. Um, in addition to that, you know, the volunteer hours. So we have local uh, PNC employees volunteering into the local organizations and um, giving in their time uh, in classroom training and, and uh, really, uh, you know, exposing the, the importance of um, interaction with those, those, those children here, here locally. And, and since PNC really started to grow in Florida, you know, PNC has been around since 1845, but wow. we've, we've really expanded in, in Florida in 2009. And since then, we've provided over $4 million to early learning organizations throughout the entire state of Florida. It's very impressive. And, and thank you so much for partnering with us. And those names that you mentioned, those local organizations are also our partners. But yeah. thank you for the support that PNC Bank has provided over the years for our Touch a Truck and Roundup, mm. which are really family friendly events, but it makes yeah. a difference. And we've been able to distribute thousands of Grow Up Great kits. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about your support of Moonshot Radio. You talk about local investments and really partnering with the community. Is that why you stand behind this? Absolutely. I mean, we, we, we look to stand behind those issues that are important to the community, and this clearly is, is right there. Uh, we also have a, a passion for uh, Florida's um, grade level reading campaign, uh, also with um, the, uh, the Florida's Children Council. Uh, we provided them funding last year to do uh, short videos on the importance of the parents being the first teacher in a child's life. You know, so those interactions, um, uh, the talking, the singing, uh, the uh, the correspondence back and forth, you know, what, how important that is. So that really lines up with getting, um, you know, 90% of the uh, children reading at grade level right here in Indian River uh, County with that being the mission. Because today in the state of Florida, it's 57%. In Indian River County, the most recent numbers are it's at 56%. So we feel that we're doing as much as we can to, to collaborate with the, with the partners here locally in Indian River County to help get those numbers up. Well, thank you so much for sharing that. Um, before we sign off, Cressman, any way that we can share with folks, how can they help? How can they connect with PNC Bank or really help some of these initiatives? Yeah, I think first and foremost, um, read to your children, right? Read to those little children uh, in, in your lives, whether your own children or, or family members. Secondly, um, join and be a part of a local early learning child uh, organization. Third, go to uh, PNC Grow Up Great. Uh, there's all kinds of resources there, teacher's guide, uh, et cetera. Uh, your pre-K teachers out there, go to Donors Choose, right, and get those uh, programs uh, listed and check out Moonshot Moment, a uh, wonderful website and shows you how you can help. It's been an honor to have you here today, Crispin. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And until next time, this has been Moonshot Radio, where every moment is an opportunity to learn.